Well, I actually had the pleasure of seeing Howard Zinn last night, um, sure. and he talked about, he thought it was a good idea to talk about New Deal because he says the New Deal is very popular. He also said, though, but the substance is what's important about that period. In that period, in the, it was Congress that passed laws guaranteeing no. employment for those who needed it. We're very far from that kind of big vision. But at the same time, Howard applauded um, the discussion of job creation and public works. A step in the right oh, direction. Oh, absolutely. And I want to second this point about it, it's, it's, it's getting a little tiresome, the New Deal analogies. People forget Roosevelt came into office at the real absolute depths of the Great Depression, and, and the unemployment rate was incredibly high by that time. Uh, and there was something uh, that had a presence in American uh, life and political economy at the time called a, a large, concentrated, centralized industrial working class that became sort of this social force of gravity that drove the New Deal further and further to the left. Now we have this very interesting uh, workplace occupation taking place on the north side of Chicago and some hope and some possibilities of significant kind of action at the grassroots level that Howard Zinn reminds us again and again, and it's one of the core themes of his best-selling book, People's History of the United States, change, as Obama himself said uh, repeatedly on the campaign trail, comes from the bottom up, ultimately. And the Democrats tend to move off this, uh, this centrist, corporate sort of commitments only when they are forced to. Mm.